Come on in, sports fans. I'm Dermot Morrell. Fruit of Monuments lacrosse team started their playoff run tonight against Dakota Ridge. This was a very entertaining game. Fruit of Trail 6-5 at the half, but took control in the fourth quarter. That's where we will start. We'll pick it up in the fourth, where Fruta has the ball and a 10-8 lead. Looking for a little bit more, and they'll find Tony Farber. He gets the goal there, and they go up 11-8. Farber has had two goals. Then it was Kazen, Kazen Stiegelmeyer. He makes it 12-8. You would think the game is over. It's about four minutes and 38 seconds left, right? No, 238 left, Dakota Ridge, they get a goal. They trail now 12 to nine. Then they come right back, Josh Flanagan. He makes it 12 to 10, 209 left. Sam Lyle, he scores. And now it's 12 to one. Fruta has a one point lead. Fruta will have a one point lead and the ball here. Less than a minute 30 to go. Trying to run some clock and look for a good shot, but they lose the ball. And now here comes Dakota Ridge and they smell blood and they score as Lyle again. We are tied up at 12 and heading into overtime. In OT, Stiegelmeyer, he will have an opportunity, but he's denied. And now Dakota Ridge looking to end this game. But guess what? Ross Winters, the goalie, he was up to the task for Fruta. Just seconds left in overtime now. Mason Compton. He'll find Carter Harmon, and Harmon ends the game. And just like that, that's your game winner. Fruta wins a thriller, 13 to 12. My teammate Mason, number seven, at the end of the game, he was just thinking ahead. Me and him were in the same mindset. And just it just happened, just ran up, went on with the goalie. It's crazy. Just getting to play with my seniors another time. It's great memory. Being able to go on and one more time with them after winning a clutch game like this. It's going to be great.